Praise the Lord. We thank God for Jesus. He did not only die for us. He led a life here on earth by which we have examples to follow. As the scripture says, he passed through everything even as we pass through them so that we can follow his examples. Today we are going to read Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4. I am going to read verses 1 and 2. Then Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being tempted for 40 days by the devil. And in those days he ate nothing, and afterward, when they had ended, he was hungry. I'd like to take some words from verse 1. Jesus, being filled with the Holy Spirit, was led by the Holy Spirit into the wilderness. And verse 2, being tempted for 40 days by the devil. I want to speak to somebody today as a warning, also as an encouragement. That you are filled with the Holy Spirit does not stop the devil from tempting you. That you are led by the Holy Spirit does not mean that the devil will not bring temptation. If anything, I think that should attract temptation. Because there has to be proof that being filled with the Holy Spirit is not just some fluke thing. That you are actually standing and when the temptation does come, where are you? Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit, led by the Holy Spirit, but tempted by the devil. That's the thing I said is both a warning and an encouragement. A warning in the sense that don't go to sleep and say it's all over. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. No, it's not. As a matter of fact, you have just hit the starting point. That's where it all starts. Because that's when the devil will throw everything at you to see if he can bring a disconnection between you and the Holy Spirit. Bring a disconnection between you and God, which is what he tried to do in the temptations of Jesus. We are not going to the areas of the temptations today. But it is noteworthy that every time you think you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you should also remember that the devil is also after you to see if he can disconnect you from God. He was led by the Holy Spirit, but the devil tempted him. Will the devil tempt you? You can be too sure of it. As a matter of fact, if the devil didn't tempt you, then there's no devil. Because that's his primary work. He can't make you fall by himself, but he can tempt you to fall by yourself. You are the one who will fall. The devil will not fall on your behalf. You know that crazy story we hear all the time? The devil made me do it. No, the devil merely tempted the man presented some kind of picture to that fellow and he fell for the picture, that's all. But would you stand away from falling? Yes, by Jesus. You know what the scripture says? He passed through all of these things so that he can leave for us an example to follow. Come to the realization that the devil is after you to tempt you away from God because you are filled with the Holy Spirit. Don't think that because you are filled with the Holy Spirit you are too much for the devil. Yes, you are too much for the devil in the context of power. He cannot overpower you, but he can bring temptation. And if you fall for the temptation, that's when he overpowers you. And my desire is that none of us shall fall for the temptations of the devil. Even those of us that have already fallen, my prayer is that God will produce such a way out that we can't get back to that fallen state. We are moving away from there into the path of righteousness into the path of true holiness and into the path of standing firm again at the end of all of the temptations jesus was found standing i pray that you'll be found standing at the end of every temptation that the devil will throw on your path as long as we live in this world we need to remember that the devil is always tempting you know what it says at the end of the temptations of jesus he said the devil left him for a moment that means he was still coming back. And he did go back time and time again. So the devil will come to you time and time again. He will come to me time and numerous times again. But when he comes, what do we do? We have to fall back on God, fall back on the same Holy Spirit. And say, Father, help me. On my own, 
it is very easy for the devil to throw me off guard. But by you, I can move against the troop. By you, I can bring down mountains. And those mountains have to be brought down now. I'm going to pray for everyone who feels the temptations of the devil. Everyone who is filled with the Holy Spirit. Everyone who has desired to be led by the Holy Spirit. Everyone who knows that the things of God have to be done in righteousness and holiness in spite of all the temptations of life. Father, in the name of Jesus, I bring all of us into your presence. We cannot on our own stand. If we're left to our own resources, we'll fall before we even think twice. We want to thank you for Jesus who left us an example to be able to stand. Give us the consciousness to know that there, Holy Spirit, we can stand. And so I pray for my brothers and sisters, I pray for myself, that every inch of the way, whatever the devil throws at us, we'll be able to stand and stand firm to the end. Stand triumphant to the end. In the end, we'll declare that the crown of righteousness is our own. Thank you, Lord, for everyone who desires to stand will stand by you. In Jesus' name, amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with you now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.